one of my favorite films is the two towers and one of my favorite scenes in any film is the battle for helm's deep when the men of rohan and the elvish army are standing on the walls and the ramparts of helm's deep and they're looking out over the over the black darkness and the rains coming down and the hordes of saruman are gathered ten thousand vastly outnumbering the the men of rohan and the elvish army and there's that sense that as wave after wave of attack comes against them the only thing they can do is stand their ground to stand their ground and they're pushed back and they're pushed back into the into the kind of the main vestibule of the the castle itself of the of helm's deep itself and when all hope seems to be lost that's when gandalf turns up with Aemir and the riders of rohan and the reinforcements come and again and at that point the tide is turned in the battle and the story goes on i love it that all they can do is stand their ground this is not this is not a victory uh, this is not a kind of a go out and in a you know in a blaze of glory and 500 men tackle this army of 10,000 this is about standing your ground paul in his letter to the ephesians chapter 6 starting at verse 10 talks about the armor of God. He says, finally, be strong in the Lord's mighty power and stand. Take your stand against the enemy's schemes, for our battle is not against flesh and blood. Four times in that passage, Paul says, stand your ground, stand firm, stand against, stand firm. How do we do that? Well, Paul then goes to talk about the armor of God and the foundational truths, really, of, of being a follower of Jesus. Helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. The foundational truths of being a follower of Jesus. And over the next few weeks, as we prepare for a Love Buxton prayer walk, begins at the beginning, the first Sunday in May, and finishes on Pentecost Sunday, as we prepare to go out and to bless our streets and our communities in prayer, as we speak blessing over our streets and our communities, it's important that we remind ourselves of the foundational truths of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. We go out into a world that is hurting and broken. We go out into a world where the ruler of this air, the ruler of this world, this dark world, is coming against us. Is all the time is seeking to push us back and cause us to retreat in fear. But Paul, four times, says, stand firm. Every Tuesday and every Thursday for the next few weeks, premiering at six o'clock, we're going to be revisiting this ground again. We're going to be talking about these different aspects of the armor of God. And we're going to build ourselves and strengthen ourselves in the Lord because we want to see Buxton transformed. We want to pour out the love of the Father on Buxton. And we do that by blessing every street, blessing every home. I want to encourage you to stand firm, to be encouraged, to be strengthened, and to love this town. God bless you. Speak to you soon.